We're really data-driven as an organization. We really focus on continuous improvement and building data-driven strategies so that we're measuring the progress towards our goals and then updating our strategies based on the information. So it's, it's a constant stream of data feeding the continuous improvement engine. Anne Arundel Medical Center realized long ago that the healthcare landscape is shifting. Radical changes in the way care is delivered and reimbursed demand a data-driven population health approach. So they prepared for it. We recognized back 10 years ago that in order to transform from a fee-for-service to a, a value-based uh, care market, we need analytics to make those changes and to make those decisions. So we've got this highly talented team of individuals that we've invested in and the worst thing you could possibly do uh, with a team of that kind of talent is to not give them the tool sets that they need. So we've made investments in tools for data governance and also visualization as well. In Click, they found a tool that can do both. It continuously collects and integrates data from both internal and external sources. Its dynamic analysis invites discovery. And interactive visualization tools allow insights to be powerfully communicated. I've been a CIO for many years and I've had analytics report to me, I want to say, for 30 years. So I understand the importance of presenting information correctly so that decision makers uh, can make the correct decisions. When you talk about value-based care, it's not just asking, are we making the financial number or are we meeting the clinical target? We're, we're trying to ask, are we meeting that clinical target in a financially responsible manner? Uh, and so we have actually successfully put clinical and financial data together in our sets and can ask questions related to that theory. So here you can see Dr. James here uh, sees patients who have a, uh, an average risk score of five, yet he treats them uh, for significantly less than uh, Dr. Lynn over here, who uh, has a much lower average risk score. So if we're treating patients in our ACO who need to get referred to a cardiologist for the first time, uh, which cardiologist do you think that we'll uh, try to direct those patients to? To see products such as Click, to be able to see the ease with which our business leaders can take the metrics, can change the graphics to something that their physicians may understand, has uh, just been amazing. Operating in Maryland presents its own unique challenges. Maryland is, uh, as a state, uh, different and possibly ahead of the curve uh, from the rest of the from the rest of the nation. So we're the one state out of the 50 who don't use the typical CMS payment model. We have a waiver that really focuses us on treating a population. So in a nutshell, um, we get a fixed amount of money, more or less, about a fixed amount of money, uh, to treat a population of patients. So identifying places where we have rising risk has been important to us. You know, as today's healthcare systems have gone to higher deductibles, um, providing a value-based, high-quality, lower-cost model is essential to avoid financial toxicity for our patient. So we're really using the data to try and drive our models to the most efficient methods of managing a patient's care. We are much more informed, uh, much more able to uh, correctly pick the action that we need to pick, uh, more informed about what that action should be than we were three years ago. Click has exceeded our expectations. We went down the path of trying to steer ourselves towards the tools that our EMR vendor was developing the most integrations for, and we realized that uh, with very simple integrations, we were able to do a lot more with Click. The journey is fun. This is, this is to be able to look at questions, answer questions, and affect change. Uh, looking at, looking at the, the data uh, through Click has made it easier for me to do my job.